here's a quick garden tour. I've got my kale here from last year that is flowering. It's going to go to seed. Uh, this is a, a very weedy patch, but it's filled with perennials, lots of shrubs and such. Some rhubarb that I'm making a wall along here to stop weeds from getting in as much. And my kiwi vines are shooting up this year. So I'm hoping for some good production from that. That's a female. I've got a male here. Another female here. One more female further down, but I think it has died. And one that I thought that was dead over there has come back to life. Uh, so here there's going to be a trellis arch going through, but that'll be a while later. I've got things planted along both sides that are going to grow up the beds. And if we turn in here, you can see this is where I had lots of bricks and this was just me using the last of what I had. So I'll have to build that up with something later on. Uh, but this is all planted out. There are tomatoes in all three and the last bed has been intercropped with uh, lettuces and beets and a bunch of things like that. Uh, I've got a bunch of strawberries and what else did I put in there? Strawberries and asparagus have all been put along the back. Eventually, that will be my, uh, my raspberry patch. Uh, and there are a couple of, the, of them in there, but I just don't have enough of those plants yet. And the seeds that I got did not germinate. Uh, there will be trees along here. There's a grapevine over there. And all along the outside here, I've planted a grapevine, there's some rhubarb all along, I've got uh, a pear tree, an apple tree, and a, I'm forgetting the name at the moment, a nitrogen fixing sea berry, uh, sea buckthorn sea berry, it's not actually a part of, this, of the buckthorn family. And I have some uh, honey locusts planted in between, and those will come out eventually. Uh, there's some little bit of chives in between there as well for some pest control and that pattern of um, pear, apple, sea berry continues all the way around. They are densely planted uh, and that is because I am going to thin them out when I move to take them uh, to take a lot of cuttings and plant out a larger food forest later. This is the three sisters. Right now it's only two sisters because I need to get some of the seed from my mother. We split on that. This one is a little bit of three sisters on the side just because I had a little bit of corn seed left. And an experimental just scattering of seeds. This is primarily zucchinis and um, I don't actually remember what else is in here, but I'll recognize a bunch of it when it comes up. Actually, I think I might have left that side empty for a later planting. And those are Minnesota midget melons. In here, I have some uh, personal, uh, some other melon, another type of melons, and some beans. That side is primarily peas, a uh, tall telephone variety. At the end there is going to be cucamelons. I've saved room for six of those. And then I have one type of, what was that? One type of cucumber and then some beans to separate and another type of cucumber. And so the path will come around here. And I've got Again, through here, actually in this area, I'm densely planting rhubarb on the outside because I'm fighting off weeds and I'm going to continue that all the way along there because there's strangling dog vine over there and I'm hoping that maybe that will help fight it. We'll see. This is going to be a pond eventually. So again, there'll be that trellis arch on this side, a path here. Actually, I think the pond is going to come all the way across and I'll make a little bridge over. And the idea with this pond is that it's also going to be uh, water storage and a bit of a swimming hole. 
then at the end I have three bays of compost which right now is also a little bit of storage so that is the progress so far and this is week one garden tour May 24th long weekend so hopefully this doesn't all get eaten I haven't finished closing things up for rodents and stuff they're still open down there so I have to stake that down and I have to finish putting up this uh, this netting that I have up here uh, it'll be easier to see over on this end I think because it's covered with stuff from the tree so this netting here is loose enough and it comes out that the squirrels don't like it and it it comes all the way around I've got it zip tied in the corner so it comes out and over and that's going to be all the way around uh, it does contain start there goes all the way around here and ends uh, right about there so I'm going to take a second piece that I have and go the rest of the way and I'm going to make a, a gate and I have to figure out how to keep them from climbing over that arch because squirrels can definitely do that so that's the tour and uh, hopefully this is a very successful garden and I think I saw a message pop up earlier about possibility of adding a fig tree which would be really exciting uh, oh yes pawpaw trees are going to go in here beside the pond um, it'll be an area where it'll have less sunlight which they can't stand sunlight for the first few years uh, they're an understory tree that's native to the area maybe a little bit further south uh, but they also look really tropical so I think it'll be nice to have those around the pond once it's here and right now there's stuff piled around the pond because I have a nosy neighbor who likes to walk around my yard and she is quite old and I can't get her to stay out, neither can her daughter. Uh, and I just don't want her falling in. Uh, so I'm also gonna block this off for the night. So that's my tour. Um, I will try and do weekly updates.